Hey guys, today we have, without question, the craziest thing that I've ever reviewed on this channel. A head unit that I promise you will blow you and your passengers away. It features a giant 13.3 inch touchscreen, which mechanically changes orientation by itself and can fit into any double den radio slot. This radio can literally transform your vehicle into something that even a Tesla owner would envy over, maybe. It's pretty crazy, so let's go ahead and let, let's check it out. Okay, so rather large box. I guess it is the Filson TAUVDD13-3. RR slash 4D. Remember things like the Nakamichi Dragon? For the unboxing, we're going to go into a little bit of the harnesses too, and which will also kind of explain some of the accessories that come with it. But right out of the box, ooh, I like the color on the background of this. Nice heavy card stock. Full, yeah, full color manual. It is entirely in English. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna have to read through this. I guess first thing we will start with out of the box is the unit itself. Okay. So there we can see that's where the screen plugs into. This whole thing rotates. Other than that, just looks like your standard doubled in receiver. This is where all of the wire harnesses plug into. So this is actually 5G Wi-Fi compatible. Uh, this is for your GPS, that's your 4G, those are all for your antennas. Wow, and then it looks like we have a coaxial as well as an optical audio uh, output. That's pretty cool. 15 amp fuse, and then another socket for where another wire harness would go. And this is very nice, I like when they do this. They also give you a printout of the connectors there as well. Okay, so there we go. Sorry about the glare, but what a giant unit. Okay, so there we go. There it is. Um, yeah, there's the connector right there. I'm not sure what those do. Oh, those kind of, I would imagine, slide. You can slide them in and out to release it from its base. Um, the one thing about this off the bat, and this is a big thing for people with Android-based head units and uh, big screens and stuff like that, is there's no actual potentiometer or volume knob there's actually no buttons at all it is all uh, either capacitive touch or just you know touch screen so not really a huge deal breaker but I must say this thing is weighty seems like it's pretty substantial wire harnesses and that's it for the rest of the box so now this wire harness kit there is a lot of different things and this will actually kind of give you an idea of all of the features that it has. This is just a regular lavalier microphone. Uh, seems pretty, again, run-of-the-mill, not too bad. It does come with the little fuzzy on it, so that's good. The GPS antenna. So this is a USB cable, I would imagine, for... Uh, one is probably for charging, the other is for CarPlay, or they're both for CarPlay, or one is for CarPlay, and the other for, is for an external storage or something like that. Um, quality of the materials seems very well made, I must say. This is another one of those little kind of accessory cables that is going to do multiple things. So now here is an 8-pin output audio. Uh, this just basically sends rear output to another amplifier and I know that because I saw yeah this one right here so this one right here I was looking at it in the bag and this is another one of the accessory harnesses but there is two subwoofer outputs which is really cool this is for your microphone this is where your microphone is going to go into this has auxiliary CV BS in, which I guess would just be, you know, video in. You have auxiliary left and right in. Amp, this is going to be your remote wire to turn on your amplifier. Front right and a front left out. So you have four outputs all together to run separate amps, as well as two subwoofer outputs. Uh, that's pretty dang cool, if you ask me. Here's another one. Okay, so those other two USBs are probably for ways to connect extra storage and stuff like that. So this is actually 
for your power link or your phone link uh, for CarPlay and what have you, stuff like that. Um, this would be RAN, you know, exterior and uh, kind of hidden away. And then the last one we got here is the good old faithful standard regular harness which connects the speaker, well, which basically connects the whole unit to your existing speakers and uh, power and ground and everything for your radio, your existing radio. So before we go out to the truck, there's one thing that you're going to need before we go any further if you're planning on installing this, and that is a dash kit. They're super easy to get, readily available. They actually don't cost too much either, but it's pretty much imperative because Philison does not include the uh, usual bracketry that come with head units. Uh, it's pretty much just like an L bracket. One side connects to your receiver while the other side connects into your dashboard. But again, no worries because everything that you will need will be included in your dash kit. So another thing that's gonna help you out a lot in restalling any type of receiver are these right here. These are called solder sticks and they're very easy to use and they're becoming my favorite thing to use when installing a receiver. Now, if you're interested in a full how to on how to install a receiver pretty close to this one go ahead and look up there there i go into pretty detailed instructions on how to actually properly install a receiver so another thing you're going to need is an actual adapter to adapt the wiring harness from the stereo to your car's present stereo these are readily available and you can get them pretty much anywhere. They're pretty cheap too. But now the first part of installation is usually to hook up your wire harness. Now, since I don't need to get one, I already have one, I'm gonna kind of jump ahead and we're gonna pull off this front fascia piece so I can actually get to the radio, pull it out and then get that harness. So they do have nice pry tools you can use. I'm just gonna use this uh, screwdriver. Yeah, just easy as pie. So now there are two connectors. So just a couple connectors and that pops right out. Basically, mine just kind of sits in there. So we have our RCAs for our subwoofer as well as our whole harness, which actually connects our stereo to our factory harness. So pretty much all of these wires are always the same and they have marked every single wire so that you know which one it is. Um, if you're unsure, you can get wiring diagrams and uh, for your vehicle, just Google it. But um, what I'm gonna do is, since I'm really not gonna use this radio for much anything else anymore, I'm just gonna, if you, as you see, they're cut really short. So I'm just gonna cut them on the other side of that, leave a little bit so I still have the colors and I know, you know, where everything goes. Uh, I still have my remote for my battery in here as well as my antenna connection. You might need also an adapter which will adapt your antenna from your car's end to your receiver's end. Okay, so basically I just realized what's going on here. Um, this one doesn't have <laughs> the wire harness adapter. So what I did was I just cut, you know, on the other side so I have all my proper colors. All I really have to do is match up whatever colors I have here. Whatever colors are left over basically are just things that aren't going to be, you know, equipped in your vehicle. So I'm going to go ahead and connect all of these using our solder connectors and I will do one connection with them just real quick to show you how those work. All right, so simple as pie. There's our main harness. Um, it's always kind of a good thing to go ahead and throw some tape on your RCAs. That's for my subwoofer output. And here's a better look at those solder seals when they are actually done, when they're actually soldered. <laughs> they're actually really cool. They have some kind of adhesive, plus it solders it. And then when you make an actual mechanical joint with it, it works great. So, all right. Okay, so basically that's what we got going on. Everything's all hooked up. Now the way that mine works is this just kind of fits into there. I don't really need a dash kit. Now it's not really gonna be secured in there properly, but for demonstration purposes, I think this will work just fine. Now in hooking everything up, all of the wiring harnesses that you're gonna need to hook up are very, very easy to hook up. Just make sure you press them very, very firmly in there. Uh, press kind of hard. So, all right. Now I know, yep. 
Okay, so now I am going to have to figure out some way how to actually make that uh, more stable in there. But we are just going to be demonstrating with this. Sorry. <gasps> oh, yeah. Ooh. All right, so I just had to manually reset this. That's what this little tiny hole is right there. Uh, right out of the box because... For some reason, no, oh, now it's working. Okay. okay. So real quick, that's not cool that I had to reset it right out of the box. Second off, for some reason with these Android head units, every single one I've tried, it shuts my camera off when I'm recording. I don't know what that's all about. I, I don't know. I don't know. I guess it's not too big. All right. I guess this is kind of what we all came here for. Whoa. Whoa, bro. That's pretty cool. All right, so I got to admit, man, this thing's pretty dang cool. All right, really quick sound test before we go. Then I'm going to do kind of a part two of this. Uh, we're going to go through navigating it and go much deeper into the sound test and really do more of a review of it. Um, I wasn't really happy that I had to automatically restart it, but it's not really uncommon with these Android units. Um, so I've got Netflix queued up. Let's see if I can do this and record at the same time. Okay. I think that's pretty cool. But yeah, definitely come back for part two. I'm going to go ahead and figure this thing out and we're going to properly review it. And uh, thank you, Phyllison. And uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, yeah, definitely come back and check that out. Hey, guys, today we have, without question, the. Hey guys, today we have, without question, the craziest thing that I've ever reviewed on this channel.